What's going on everybody, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious mac and cheese. To start this recipe, in a large saucepan or pot, we're going to add 1.3 litres of whole milk. Half an onion with a bay leaf and a clove, and this is called an onion clue. I'm just going to pop that in. Two cloves of garlic, lightly crushed, just so they release more of their flavour, and one star anise. We're going to put this onto a high heat and bring it up just before boiling point. Then whilst this is heating up, we're going to preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Then now that this is almost at a boil, we're going to take it off the heat. Then we're going to pour it through a sieve, just to get rid of the onion, the garlic and the spices. And we're just going to discard of these. Then to make our white cheese sauce, we're going to add 100 grams of unsalted butter and put that onto a medium heat to allow it to slowly melt. Then once the butter's melted, we're going to add 100 grams of plain all-purpose flour and gently whisk that in. And what we're making here is called a roux, which is a butter and flour thickening agent. We're going to cook this for one minute. Then after a minute, we're going to slowly pour in our infused milk just a little bit at a time. And the reason that we pour it in in parts is because you can always add more, but you can't take out. Then I'm going to pour in the last bit. Now on a medium heat, we're going to cook this for five minutes, stirring it frequently. And at this point, I'm switching from a whisk back to a spatula. Then after five minutes, we're going to turn this off the heat and add 150 grams of grated cheddar cheese. I'm going to mix this through. and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of sea salt. I'm then going to take this off and put it aside. Then in a large saucepan or pot, we're going to fill it three quarters of the way with water and bring it to a boil. Now that our water's come to a boil, I'm going to add one tablespoon of salt. And what the salt does is it increases the boiling point of the water and it will also flavor the pasta. We're then going to add 500 grams of macaroni Mix that around just so it doesn't get stuck together. And we're going to cook this for eight minutes. Then after eight minutes, we're going to turn this off and drain the water. We're then going to run this under cold water to stop it from cooking for about one to two minutes. We're then going to allow this to drain. We're then going to add the macaroni to our cheese sauce. And mix all of this through. Then in a large baking dish, we're going to add our mac and cheese. Going to spread that out all evenly. Sprinkle over 30 grams of grated parmesan. And then top it off with 250 grams of grated mozzarella cheese. We're just going to spread all that evenly. We're then going to bake this in our preheated oven for 30 to 35 minutes, or until it's beautifully golden. Then after 35 minutes, we have our beautiful mac and cheese. And this smells absolutely amazing. This has a beautiful cheese crust on the top, and I can just hear it sizzling away. And I hope you can too. And now it's time to see our end result. Oh. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video and I was able to teach you something. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button and don't forget to like, share and comment. And if there's any recipes that you'd like to see me make, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to make them. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.